I gotta say, you're in for a treat tonight. We got some aura borealis. Can't wait to see how this footage turns out. It's gonna be really cool, guys. Really cool. Let's go back to the beginning. I love you, bye. I didn't plan this. In fact, I had no idea what was in store for me that night. I had an extra day off, and that's all the excuse I needed to go on a one-night moto camping trip. This time, I'm going back to a place that I've been before, in Min, Idaho. I wanted to get out one last time before the fall colors were gone for good. It looks like I made it just in time. They say autumn is a second spring where every leaf is a flower. The ride up here really felt that way to me. We are going up Inman Canyon. So normally when I've gone to Inman in the past, I've always gone right at this little intersection here. But this time I went straight. Um, I found out that it goes to Inman Canyon. So we're going to be taking that and then we're going to be making our way uh, through some beautiful country and then uh, we're going to go up and find a place to camp for the night. Now if you can see that road back there, uh, it doesn't look too good. Uh, I've never been on it so I really don't know what to expect. So kind of excited to check it out. It'll be an area that I've never seen up here before. I've got the bike loaded pretty heavy as well. And I've got finally some uh, different food to eat this time. I've actually uh, got a little bit of surprise. You'll have to wait till the camp scene to find out what it is. Rough road, not maintained for passenger vehicles. Sounds like an XT road. Let's see how this goes. Looks a little ruddy, a lot ruddy. Well guys, the uh, fall colors are still here, but uh, we've lost a lot of them and they're kind of looking a little shabby, so. Probably missed the best time for that. That's not to say that I missed the best time of the fall colors anywhere else, because in Colorado, I was down there with T-Dev's kit, and we got some very good fall colors. Probably gonna see this video before you see that video, just due to how much it's gonna take to edit that one. That was a two night moto camping trip. And this one, we're just doing one night. And I'm all by my lonesome. Oh, so far this road isn't bad. It's looked a little intimidating in the front. The road is very rutted. Maybe I spoke too soon about it not being that bad. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, good grief. I ran out of power. I can get this front wheel down here. There we go. So far this road is not incredibly promising. Ooh. Come on, <laughs> lost all my progress. A little bit of the ways. <laughs> okay. Now we're rolling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I made it guys, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's not a road, <laughs> hey some water, that was a lot of work, <sighs> I think the main thing was is I didn't get enough of a running start when I got going on that hill, <sighs> even if I had more power back there I probably would have wheelied it, you gotta get going and stay going, alright I believe, I'm supposed to go right. I gotta be real, I thought this was gonna be a Jeep trail. I thought it was like the way that the lame cars went, but there ain't no cars getting up this. I mean, obviously a Jeep probably could, but. How you guys doing? I stopped by Rough some road. gentlemen and spoke with them about the state of the road for a second. 
Yeah, I wear that. Afterwards, I headed on down the road. Ooh, there's some good color there. The fall colors were at times beautiful, and sometimes not there at all. Oh, this is pretty. Well guys, so far it's been very beautiful. There's like a little bit of a edge of frost kind of vibe to it. Not that it's frosty, it's just, you know, you get the feeling that none of these leaves are gonna be on much longer. And when that first frost hits, they're all gonna be gone. I'm not sure how cold it's gonna get up here tonight. It's fairly warm right now. It's actually warmer here than it was in Pocatello. Nonetheless, it was an enjoyable ride, though I never figured out where Inman Canyon was. Well guys, I stopped to get a brief overview of this beautiful landscape here behind me. It's a little windy up here on this plateau, um, but uh, I needed to stop and get some food. And it's beautiful because I've got this uh, huge view in front of me and then behind me I've got all these beautifully colored trees that haven't quite lost their color yet. So that's fantastic. So far the ride's been pretty nice, hasn't been too big of an issue. The road's a bit more challenging than your average ADV road, but uh, I still enjoy it. Still pretty fun. Now it's time to keep looking for a camp spot. These ones took longer to turn than the other ones did. That's good. A little crazy coming up here in that little car. Well, I guess it's not a little car. I often get in that kind of mode where I think that nobody should be driving on these back roads but motorcycles. <laughs> it's not true, but sometimes I get it in my mind that I feel that way. Alrighty, now we're going into the mountain blue yonder. Ah, nice and cool. Nice to be off that desert shelf. Got a bug in my mouth. Taste okay. Ugh. Bit of an aftertaste though. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. Ah, the trees are still nice. I'm glad they hadn't like all fallen off by this point. Wanted to get out and get as much riding as I could while the leaves were here this year, so kind of hard to do because it's such a short window. They seem like the same kind of trees, but some of these trees are just keeping their leaves longer than the rest of them. Go two feet and there's these ones that are just done. They've had it. No more summer for them. I think I've ridden that road before. Maybe I have ridden this before. At least this specific road here. I wonder if I missed Inman Canyon or whether I rode through it and didn't know I was riding through it. Thank you kindly for being so hospitable and holding your leaves longer for my viewing pleasure and for everyone watching this video. As I rode through this area I discovered that I had been here before. The very first moto camping trip that I had ever filmed was in the same area. So I decided to head towards the same campsite. However, it would definitely not be the same experience. Alright, that campground's locked, but this is for motorcycles and four-wheelers only. This is the trail here that uh, is part of the Inman Loop. Last time I was here, I saw a bear. I really enjoyed riding this Inman Loop, it's a lot of fun. Like a little motorcycle-sized trail. It's not quite single track, but it's a very, very long double track. Got the bridge. Ooh, Alright folks, we're in bear country. Oh, it smells wonderful back here. Somewhere around here where I saw the bear last time, maybe? I don't know. I love this stretch of woods here though. Right again. Oh, scratch my camera. Oh, whoa, that was a little slippery. Whoa. 
We're in a managed grazing area. This is a nice place to be. All oh, the leaves look like candy on the ground. That's cool. Well guys, this little stretch here really has been like the highlight of the ride for me. It's so beautiful. A little dead spot here, which I remember this from last time. Here's my creek. Much lower than last time. Now I don't uh, normally camp in the same place twice, but I think I'm gonna make an exception for this one. I've got this gorgeous creek right back here behind me. And uh, if you guys remember, I did actually camp here uh, on my first moto camping trip that I did for the channel. So perhaps for at least close to the last moto camping trip that I'm doing here in season two, um, maybe it's fitting that I do it here. It's beautiful and uh, I'm tired and I'm ready to relax a little bit. So awesome. Looks like a bear over there. Could be cows, but I'm thinking it's a bear. The way he's digging around over there. Got my bear spray just in case. So that one over there is a cow. I'm pretty sure that one's a bear, though the other one had, what, teddy bear ears and was nosing around in the dirt. I discovered the culprit. Just a cow, guys. Everything's good. Maybe I had all this memories of bear last time I was here, and that's why I saw something in the bush and it looked like a, uh, a bear. But better be safe than sorry. The reality is, is those cows that were over on the other side uh, probably would have been scared way before me if there was a bear. So nothing to worry about. We're good. Well, guys, I've just been relaxing and sitting in my chair here that I've got, just kind of enjoying the scenery. But I'd say it's probably time to get uh, get camp set up. So let's do that. As always, it's quick and easy to set up. I've really enjoyed using this tent. It uh, definitely fits the bill for moto camping, so it's much better than the tent that I had last time I was at this spot. That one was like 30 bucks. Not the greatest. All right, time to get some firewood. Well guys, it's not actually all that cold out, but for dinner tonight, we are having steak, corn on the cob, and some French bread. That's why I got the fire going. I need some coals to cook this uh, corn on the cob. So first off, we've got this corn on the cob soaking in water. The steak is gonna cook really fast, but this corn in the cob will not. What the plan is, we're gonna leave it in the husk and put it in some foil. Okay, and I've got it in here just like that. Alrighty, while that corn's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start the steak. Now this is uh, actually elk steak. I'm just gonna have a few slabs of it. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is put this rub on it here. There's some butter in there. 
Oh, it's smelling good now. All right. Look at those beauties. Looks pretty good. Tastes pretty good. Mm. That's good. It is hard to beat steak. I know I've said it a lot this year, but this definitely is the best dinner I've ever had out moto camping. I think this is about done. Smells done. Hot and steamy. Get some butter on that baby. Some salt, a little bit of pepper. Ah, let's eat this thing. Mmm, yep, it's done. I got pretty lucky with this corn. Pretty sure it was the last corn in like all of Pocatello. I was happy they still had some. So good. I do have one more thing to eat though. All right, that looks a little bit more like it. That is delicious. Every time I bring out new food, never regret it. First John chapter three. See what kind of love the Father has given to us that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now, and what we will be has not yet appeared, but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Well guys, this has been a very relaxing evening. I've really enjoyed sitting next to the fire, which I haven't been able to do in a while since there's been burn bands up till now. Really enjoying this. I'll probably have some tea and enjoy the rest of this lovely evening. Sit next to the fire and, and relax. That smells delicious. I'm a big fan of cream in my tea. That is tasty. Well guys, I gotta say, you're in for a treat tonight. We got some Aura Borealis. So I've been taking some photos, I'll show you in a second. Really, really cool. Very lucky that we were able to, to get this very blessed. In the meantime, I'm here uh, putting my bear bag up. I uh, can't wait to see how this footage turns out. Good morning, guys. Slept pretty good last night. Stayed pretty warm. Time to get up and get some coffee.
got a whole crowd here. Good day for a horse ride. I definitely prefer the wheeled kind. He said they were uh, gathering cows when I talked to him, so that's pretty cool. There's like 30 people. <laughs> Cowboys and cowgirls. Pretty cool. Well guys, what a beautiful morning here in Idaho. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start getting packed up. Sitting by the traffic light zone I don't know 